Hey YouTube, this is an interesting case of the gaming uh, video card. This is NVIDIA 4080 card that uh, got damaged by the customer in the transit of his gaming computer basically. And it seems like it was already sent to the Gigabyte for the warranty purposes and they marked it as PCB broken. And as you can see they marked it right here. Let me make a photo the focus going as you can see right here you can see there's a there's the crack the PCB right there if you, if you can look at it it's kind of bent a little bit so we're gonna see what we can do with it if we can get this card going we'll try I'll take it apart and see how it goes. All right, uh, the actual board is out of the whole enclosure, and basically, you know, if you're going to remove it, it's pretty, it's pretty actually straightforward. All you basically need to remove is those bottom screws. All bottom screws I can see and then you can just need to lift it a little bit out so you don't need to remove all these screws and you know this just stays everything on here stays in place just the bottom screws there there's another cover I removed that also but just the bottom screws and then it kind of stuck there you know you, know, you have a uh, thermal paste and you have this thermal um, foam basically so just you know just kind of unconnect it and remove the remove the fan connectors this one. okay so I'm gonna take a look at it under microscope I already took a look and I didn't see any you know because what I was thinking is maybe um, like for example this this memory chip is pretty close to the crack so I was thinking it might be a uh, broken traces there it still might be but I might need to might need to reflow it just to be 100% sure but I'm gonna scrape a little bit here and a little bit here see you know what kind, kind of contacts we have there but uh, I'm gonna show you under the microscope what I'm talking about let me move that Light some assist with some light so it's more visible. This is the memory chip I was talking about. It's really hard to tell, but I don't think I don't really think there's any issues there. That's the that's the corner close to the to that crack seems to be fine as I said it seems but it might not be I might need to remove it and reboil it just to be 100% sure let's see how okay so that's that so let me scrape it a little bit here let's see what we have It's, it's definitely a broken board on this side. So let me scrape and see what we have. See what kind of damage are we talking about here? And if we have any traces, so this is. As far as I understand, this is just uh, the top layer is the ground. Diode mode. 
Yeah, so this is just the ground. So I'm gonna scrape it a little more and see if any traces are actually broken. For example, closer to here, away from the See this no, this is still ground. Still ground. About, what about this one? Still ground. Yeah, I don't think that's what I was thinking. I don't think this is the this is the problem here. I really don't think we have any issues with that crack because it did. I don't think it cracked anything major. I don't think this is the problem at all. So this is just the ground. Yeah, it's kind of obvious that because it's kind of all the way on the edge there's you know it's it's really it's really it's not really possible for any major lines going in you know there so I don't think this is the problem at all I don't think we have any issues in this you know in the area of this crack so I don't think it's a problem you know I don't think it's a problem at all so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reflow probably that um, slot. I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna actually double check on what kind of uh, what's the what's the model number and see if I have if I actually have a stencil for it. So I mean, you know, so that the best idea is just to remove it and reboil and then check all the all the traces under it still might be broken the broken traces so that would be a good idea to do remove that and reboil it so let me do a little research okay we're gonna try to pick it up check the balls under it, contacts, pads, and put it back. But I think I do have, uh, I actually do have a stencil. Seems like this is the BGA 60, that's the one that fits, you know, we'll, we'll be able to reboil it if necessary, but let's go ahead and try to get it done. This out, reboil first. Thank you. 
Yeah, most likely this will need a, a bottom heat too, because it's not it's not budging at all. The thermal mass is pretty big on this video card, so I have to do it a little different way. All right, so I was able to reboil uh, that uh, memory chip with the bottom heat, with the help of the bottom heat but uh, it did not fix it, it did not help, so so the problem is somewhere deeper and um, the only thing we get is that beautiful egg, broken egg, right here. Alright, so uh, it was a good attempt, did not work, it's okay I guess. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.